hey guys hey guys hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another video thank you so much for tuning in you guys are very much welcome thank you so much for tuning in to pili le papras entertainment you guys for coming again to go and follow me on other social media platforms i'm pili papra one got tiktok on twitter it is b underscore talk on instagram i'm pili le underscore papra and also a facebook page it is pili papras entertainment thank you so much for following me in advance you guys now you guys let's just talk about uh, this uh, article that I see about Uzolika Mandela, you guys, um, we know that uh, Zolika Mandela passed away and um, there was a little bit of a family drama there, you guys, uh, when it comes to her burial. Remember, you guys, we did a lot of videos uh, when it comes to the list of the people that she did not want at uh, her funeral. <clears throat> and then uh, the list of the people that she wanted, something like that. And also the drama with Umama Uzenan. Is it Umama Uzenan Mandela? Who was kind of like, she was uh, 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 with, uh, with the, is it Thierry Bashala? Uh, uh, who was uh, Zolega Mandela's husband? In the Ganjalu, you guys, eh, because Uzolega wanted to be buried uh, uh, next to her grandmother and her mother, you guys, you know that, and also her ch one of her children, where they are sleeping, you guys, eh, well, they just had to oppose that. I do not know Mamu Uzena is saying, no, she must be buried where uh, the theory Bashala's choice place, something like that, you guys. Uh, I, I remember I do have uh, those videos, if you guys can just go and watch them but in this case here i see good the mandela family could go to court to get her body exhumed into a ganjala you guys <coughs> now i want us to go through that because i'm like why do they even oppose he will something like remember you guys what tina she wants to be buried here and then umamu zenani it's kind of like what she was she wasn't seeing eye to eye with uzo like she just had to kind of like oppose that and go and bury her at a uh, Thierry Pashala has found a place. Is Thierry Pashala the, uh, the one who was her husband or was he a, an ex or he was just a baby daddy? But they were married but not yet divorced. In Duiganjalo, you guys, there was just a whole lot of things there. So, uh, what you are, she will be buried uh, somewhere where uh, uh, Thierry Pashala chooses in Duiganjalo. But then uh, she said, I want to sleep here next to my mom, my granny, and my child. So I do not know why they did that. For me, I got upset about it. I was like, but you better do that. Do, don't try to oppose that. That's how I know me now, you guys. So I do not know why Umamu Zenan was doing that. That's why we hate Uti Antika Zoleka. She wasn't seeing eye to eye, no Zoleka. And she was on the list of the people that Uzolika didn't want on a funeral, but she was there. Something like that, you guys. Angers, you guys. Now, nah, Utah Mandela family called go to court to get Uzolika's body exhumed. Now, some members of the family wanted to go to court so they can bury Uzolika next to her grandmother, Winima Dixon Mandela. Now, members of the Mandela family could be said to face off in court over the burial of Anderson Mandela's granddaughter. Zolega Mandela. Now, according to a report, our city press uh, family members uh, want Zolega to be exhumed and reburied next to her grandmother, Winnie uh, Amadigizela Mandela. Now, Zolega passed away in September after losing her pregnancy with cancer. She was 43 years old, you guys. Now, the legal pregnancy looming over Zolega Mandela's burial. So the Mandela family has a burial plot at Fowey's Memorial Park. Now Zolika, however, was not laid to rest there in September last year after her aunt Uzenani Mandela got a court order to prevent it, you know. Now Zolika was then laid to rest in another part of the burial ground. Now the city press reports would uh, Court is so saying that the family members are still unhappy about this and feel she should be buried next to her grandmother and daughter. Now they believe her spirit will not rest until this happens. Zolika's brother Uzondwa is spearheading the legal battle to exhume her body and will soon file papers at the Johannesburg High Court. So I mean, I was like, very, very, why did Umamu Zenani do that? No, I was told her you were not seeing eye to eye with the person. Why, why must, why must you do that? What she did, honestly speaking. But now they have to now go and dig her up and take her and rebury her where she wanted. So when you if someone is buried, now they have to rebury. You know what I mean? So something like that. Why did she even do that in the first place? You know what I mean? For me, I was little mama Lona. Mm -mm. 
No, because that thing was just something else. Because we no matter the season, then so so oppose. I'm a wills. I'm no man. I say going to phone a look when when the oppose just to get back at me saying lele. You know what I mean? That was just something else. But anyways, Zonika's funeral was also a uh, mad by the revelation that she had written down the names of people she did not want at her funeral. Now, the list was shared on social media and included the names of prominent members of her family. Zenani's name was on the list and alongside Uman Mandela, Uzamaswa Zitlamini Mandela and Zintli Mandela. Now, some of the people whose names were on the list were at her funeral service. Yeah, some of them, they were there. The Bukwaku they they are not wanted, but they were there. I think Uman Mandela respected her will and didn't something like that. Now she accused the people on the list of abusing her, you guys. Mandela Mandela, however, denied abusing his cousin. I was on the list of confirmed attendees and accordingly paid my last respect. The timing of the appearance of a list of people who Zolika apparently didn't want to attend a funeral is unfortunate. The allegation of sexual abuse is serious and very uncharacteristic for someone as outspoken as her to leave it undisclosed until her unfortunate demise. Uh, Mandela, you got, oh, sorry, Mandela Mandela. That's what he said on that statement because in Avele he was accused of sexual abusing uh, Uzoliga Mandela, who was his cousin. So, we were like, Why did you do that, dude? You know, something about Wagusho Loko was a humble, you guys. So, that's what he said. It's so unfortunate because. Uh, Upali Pansi and Manjisega Lele and Sega Pali Willi Guti, he mustn't be there, something like that. Now, at the time, Mandela said uh, he was shocked that his name was on the list. So, I categorically deny the allegations leveled against me relating to any form of abuse against Zolika Mandela. It is extremely unfortunate that my cousin, my cousin's sister's last rites were mired by this unsavory behavior and that uh, serious allegations of this nature could be a... Uh, Bend it about so irresponsibly. Uh, so now we call on all family and friends to restore respect and dignity and to let Zolika rest in peace. That was Umandla Mandela saying now, you guys, now. So I do not know, you guys. Because another, there were people who were there on the list, you guys, uh, as um, another family role as a grandkids accused uh, Uzenan of hiding. Uh, Matigizela's assets, that is just a report under there. I'm not going to go through that, but we were just about uh, the family now having to go in court about a... Uh, um, he, her body being uh, resumed and like that one, Mina, I, I do not know, you guys. You know, when someone have to be reburied... And guys, you guys, I feel like very, very so good. Look, me, I'm going to make a big way, you guys. I'm going to make a big way. 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 For me, I'm like, mm hmm. So I do not know you guys. That is the story. That is the city press. Okay, you see why the Mandela family could go to court to get her body exhumed imagine but anyways at least in Flambe she will go and rest where she wanted because she was opposed by umama uzena ni mandela she's the one who opposed the whole thing and for me she just used that theory pashala um kenyana thing when did they separate i think they were separate or maybe not divorced something like that so she had to use that against to Zolega Ugute, okay, she can't go and sleep La Pana uh Mandela because you know she's married to someone. So theory Pashala had to look for a place. Uh yo for some of us we were like no Mesa take your la pa your la la pa why oppose it? they were no longer together, you know. But I do not know you guys so, so now she had to be reburied. I mean I do not know you guys but that it is what it is we are just going to wait and hear uh, what is happening with that because I saw the story and then I got interested. And I wow. So I wanna uh, uh, just wait and listen to what is going to happen to Uzoleka. So they will win this one and then go and take her and then uh, finally go and uh, let her rest where she wanted because wherever she is, but consider maybe she's not resting in peace because she did not want to be laid there. But that's where Umama Zenani's choice said she must go there. Now, at least if they win this one, other family members as they want uh, to, it to be done, at least she will be taken, she will go and sleep uh, next to her mom, her granny, and her child. You know what I mean? I do not know why she did that, you guys. It's so uh, angers. So we're going to wait and see, you guys, if that is going to happen. So that is the story that was uh, that I saw as I was patrolling you guys online. Uh, 
yeah man thank you so much for watching uh please please say your thoughts on the comment section regarding ozolika mandela being um dug up and are now taken to where she wanted to be for me nje we are going to know mkupa ni msu selapa ni mselapa for me that's just that's for me i do not know but you get a basic painting at least she will finally sleep ne next to her mom and her granny that's where she wanted to go in the first place if umama zenani didn't fight her when she's normal that's how I'm, I'm putting it i'm sorry that's just how i'm putting it because for me that's you fighting someone who's normal use lele when you see someone like you know what you know and you know like how you use then you use your power to fight someone who's normal which is very very shameful something like for me you know so at least finally she can go and sleep where she wanted to be with her family something black one I, 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 for me she's just somewhere else you know at least when she goes there she will be with her family and her child something like that because at least but anyways for me and uh, when it's food you say i look music among other people like you could attach your food as well here as as you guys let us in the comment section like the video subscribe you guys and then i'll meet you again on my next upload bye